Welcome everybody to the Mind, Body and Soul TV coming to you live from our Denver, Colorado studios. We are of course streaming as usual at uh, YouTube Live as well as at Hangouts and also at ConsciousEvolutionMedia.com. I'm your host, Coach Steve Toth, and yes, we've been around for 12 years and more than 20,000 shows, and we'll just keep doing this until eternity. Uh, we have a very interesting um, uh, guest with us this evening. Her name is Lynn Kathleen Russell. She is an author, a lecturer, and a researcher, and she's joining us from that beautiful, friendly country up north, Canada. Welcome to the show, Lynn. Thank you. It's good to have you. Lovely to be here. Yes, absolutely. So our theme for this evening is how to be the love that you are. And we're going to kick that off by me asking you, if I took away all these titles, author, lecturer, researcher, any other titles that anybody has ever addressed you by, what's left? Who is really Lynn Kathleen Russell? Hmm, that's a big question. <laughs> <laughs> but I know um, I have a big I have a big guest, so you I uh, know you'll answer yeah, it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm a person who who very much loves what I do. Uh, whatever that is. I used to be a counselor and I loved that. And I was a teacher and I loved that. So I'm a person who loves life and gets right in there and mucks about in the in the mud. And awesome. enjoys every minute. Yeah. Awesome. So so I'm really intrigued uh, by the theme of the show, which is how to be the love that you are. Um for a number of reasons. <laughs> One <laughs> One, I, um, well, I'm not even going to start it from there. I'm going to start it from the interesting um, aspect of you writing this new book called um, the, the, Wonder, um, the Wonder of You, which is really about all these interviews that you've done with, I guess, 2,500 people uh, regarding yes. their near-death experiences. So. Yes. I, I just want to dive in, like you said earlier. <laughs> That's what you like to do. I just want to dive in to find out what did your research come up with uh, in terms of the experiences that people were having, and what did you learn about humanity in terms of why are we here and what is everybody supposed to be doing? Uh -huh, that's, that's it's a loaded great. it's a very loaded very loaded question <laughs> <laughs> i'll try and answer it quickly okay. um i learned i learned basically that a lot of what we've been taught through spiritual and religion and so on is is just not true and a lot of it is man-made thinking um, that we are far more beautiful uh, within than, than, than we've been thinking we are. We live in, in guilt. And so um, guilt is, is something that's not real. It's, it's something that we've made up. And so that was one of the things that, that was the big thing that I learned, was that our reality is so much more beautiful than we have ever given ourselves credit for being. Um, what was the second part of the question? Um, how did I research it? No, that wasn't it. <laughs> well, well, the second part of the question was what, you know, what did you learn in terms of? Okay, so so what I'm getting, what what I'm getting from what you just said, and that's interesting because I came to the same conclusion. Um, but I, you know, I didn't, I didn't interview 2,500 people regarding their death experiences. Right. I've been interviewing people for 12 years about right. their life experiences, and um, and I learned the same thing you've learned. I, I came <laughs> up with the same answer in terms of uh, people. Uh, people are are thinking that they are much smaller than they are. I mean, they yes. are much bigger, but they don't they don't know that, yes. and they yes. don't want to go there. They they are full of fear. That's right. um, they can accept the fact that they are creating their own reality every moment. We making up everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not and just we, the good stuff. Really, not just the good stuff, but all the bad stuff. 
Yeah, and, and I think that's really important to understand that we have more control over what's happening in our life and, uh, and the direction it's going than we're giving ourselves credit for it as well. You know, we think yeah. that, uh, that things happen to us and they don't recognize that we take an active part in mm. that happening. Mm. We are actually creating it. Oh yeah, my God. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and exactly. that would mean it's so much easier for humanity that, to say that, you know, there is a God out there or there is Buddha or there is whoever. That way we're not responsible for what's being yes. created. Somebody exactly. else is responsible. Yeah. And that's just so much more convenient. And yeah. uh, so I'm really glad to hear that you're coming up with the same same answers. So, so specifically though, uh, what people have been reporting, I'm curious, because I believe, uh, and I've proven this to myself, and I don't need people to believe that, what I believe, I just believe what I believe, <laughs> that, that we are a stream of consciousness. That, and that's why I'm doing Conscious Evolution Media. And how this reality is being created is being created by me and it's being created by you. And we just happen to be connected right now and there is not even such a thing as time and space. Um, and boy, do people have a hard time uh, putting their arms around that one. That, <laughs> that there is no time and there is no, oh my That's God. Okay. If there's no yeah. time and there's no space, then what is there? Well, yeah. what there is, 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 is pure consciousness. Mm -hmm. And then whatever we want to create out of that is yeah. what we are experiencing. Yeah. So, so yeah. what are, what people have, reported back to you in terms of you know, because I I've had shows like this before where people were reporting back while they saw the light and they followed the light and uh, I'm just curious as to what are they saying in terms of feeling sensing let's say let's say feeling seeing all the five senses what have they been able to to notice in terms of this pure dream of consciousness well to be honest I don't think many of them do they don't get to that point I think that it takes time and and really getting into it to get to the point of understanding that that we are consciousness and you're absolutely right that is exactly what what uh, uh, another thing that I do is I teach um, workshops and my workshops are on and spirituality and science and with my science that's exactly what I'm doing with the science is showing people through scientific methods that, that, that they are actually consciousness and that that's the right the essence of their being mm. awesome so you're right I agree with and, you completely and how is <laughs> and how is that going because I I've taken I've taken all the stuff that I've learned and my own continuous you know uh, evolution of my own consciousness uh -huh. back to corporate america and uh uh people have a really tough time uh, accepting uh who i am being but although i don't care uh i just want them to kind of wonder how i do what i do because i'm noticing mm -hmm. that by teaching people because really what we're doing on the on this network and what we've been doing for the last 12 years is really educating and teaching people about this stuff and not that we you know i do know it all and so do you and so does everybody else but we continuously have you know i'm noticing a limited understanding of what's going on i'm still working on expanding my consciousness so as i go through these shows and i go through every day you know, more and more is being uh, going through on and unfolding, basically. So yeah. it's it's yeah. not like and it, it just and it just depends on on where everybody is, you know, how it is unfolding for them, and everybody's yeah. experience is is different, and that's fine. Right. And right. and so I I am I'm finding that a lot of people don't seem to want this like this knowledge like they happier just the way they are in, in the i guess i could say in the ignorance of being on automatic pilot they they seem to be happier <laughs> and, 
and, and having had, having true. live having life beating them all over the place like like you know like like you know how i would i'm experiencing people uh these days and i used to be one of those people where you know how you have what are those games called where you the pinball machines where one of those balls are basically a human being and you just kick the ball in there and that's life bumping right. them around you know right. and that's what right. we do right yes well, I think that unless life hits you in the top of the head, you don't look beyond here. Yeah. You know, you just stay right here. And unless life forces you to go beyond that. Although I am finding more and more young people are searching. More curiosity there. And stepping, uh -huh. yeah. and stepping out of uh, the, 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 the uh, form that they've been taught so far. Another group I see that's looking is the boomers that have the baby boomers that have moved beyond um, uh, they, they they are now looking at their own mortality and so they're looking for answers as well so i do find that there are many people who are opening up but and the other part is fear that um that sometimes the world gets to the point where it frightens too many people and they pull in to themselves instead of spreading themselves out in love and giving. And so that stops the spirituality as well and the knowledge. So we have to open ourselves up and dare and dare because what we found is that we are consciousness, we are spirit, and it's okay if we're not here next week. You know, unless, I mean, like what I'm trying to say is, I'm here for a purpose, and I have a chore, and I hope to do that chore, and so on. But um, I think we're too wrapped up in fear, and what's yeah. going to happen next? Yeah, and it's interesting. Yeah, because um, because I'm here, and I am everywhere, <laughs> and, <laughs> and and I am right now in the past, and in the future, and in the now, <laughs> and. and uh, People just have a tough time, you know, wrapping their arms around that so that they don't have to worry yeah. that when yeah. this experience is over, um, and really mm -hmm. they get to call it when it's over. It's not like somebody like God or some other individual that we decided to look up to all of a sudden is going to flip the switch that you're done. We, yeah. right. we individually yeah. get to flip the switch whenever yeah. we are done with this experience. Right, right. So, so it's and, almost and, like I came to the conclusion, and I don't know if you have, that this mm -hmm. whole thing about being born and being dead or dying, um, e even that for me is not real anymore because it's made up. <laughs> yes, exactly, and that's what I meant. Um, yeah. it, th what we see in this world, you know, we can feel, touch, and, and smell, and taste, and, and and relate to everything, but it's all an illusion. It's not real. Yes. And that's what that's wow. what quantum physics is teaching us. Is the, wow, you're you know, you're amazing. You are amazing. And you know what's yeah. funny? L listen, listen to this, Lynn. What's funny okay. is at least three decades ago, because you brought up science, and I love sure. I love bringing science into this. Me it too. has been proven, like at least three decades ago, that if you touch two atoms, there is a huge explosion. Yes. Okay? Yeah. So, so and, and people, for some reason, you know, deciding to ignore that because they don't want to deal with this. So, right. so if I say touch this table, we're really not touching this table. Because right. if we truly did touch it, it yeah. we would blow up. Yeah. So that's, no, that's actually, the, it's, it's just the electromagnetism resisting each other. And that's what, we, when we sit on a chair, we're not sitting on, sitting the, on chair. the chair. Correct. Yes. When yes. we are walking on the street, we're not walking on the street. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of crazy though. And I can certainly, I can empathize with the people because I think that unless you, and that's what I do with my workshop. I break it down piece by piece by piece and and show them exactly how it can so that they understand mm -hmm. so what are some of the deep hidden messages that you found about the world in terms of talking to these 2500 people just give us a few examples 
Well, one of the things that um, people have come back very, very, very different from the person that they were when they went before they died. Um, they come back much kinder and more forgiving and more open to change and looking at other things and of course more spiritual but the big thing is reaching out and trying to touch others and help in the world and and with medical science advancing as much as it is uh more and more people are are having near-death experiences and it's just huge uh, i mean there's just millions and millions and millions everywhere and uh and so i think that their messages are starting to push through. We're starting to hear what they're saying. And kindness is the biggie. And mm -hmm. caring for one another. Yeah, love is the most important message. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, primarily for ourselves first. And then once we can accept, because I okay. my experience is most yes. people yes. are unable to accept uh, to love themselves Yes. Uh, fully yes. they yes. they yes. are depending on someone else to love them yes. <laughs> to be full and we, complete and whole <laughs> well because we've been raised uh in guilt we through gentle guilt telling us you know that we weren't supposed to do this that or the other thing mm. and some people came out of that feeling like they were never going to make it to, to live up to whatever expectation. And then there's uh, the religious guilt. And, um, you know, if we weren't uh, like Jesus or whoever else is the, the, the epitome, um, then, then we fail and we're going to go to hell. And then there's the social guilt. And we have to have big houses and we have to act a certain way and look a certain way. So we're surrounded by guilt. It's, it's, all, it's all programming, really. I yeah, call it programming. Yeah. Yes, we're, exactly. we're, we have been programmed from day one mm -hmm. when we came out of the womb mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. to, to have our reality being experienced in a certain way. Yes, yes. And yes. we bought it. We actually bought it, hook, line, and sinker. Well, <laughs> yeah, because it starts from childhood. So uh -huh. it's too young for us to know yeah. that we can't, that it's not true. So, yeah. so, so I'm going to go back to like the way I would interview a politician. Like if I didn't get a straight answer from a question, oh, I, 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 would, I would repeat the question again. So my question was, because <laughs> Lynn, you're not going to get away with not answering this. This, is, this question is too important. So give us a few of the deep hidden messages that you learned about the world going through this study. OK, uh, one of the things that I learned, um, as I've said, is the love and um, and caring for one another those were very important messages here mm -hmm. the other thing i learned was that when we leave our body now this is really this is a little bit strange but let me stick with it for a second it is our soul that is living this life his soul isn't up there somewhere floating around and sort of vicariously going through life it's right in here building the personality and experiencing every single thing that we experience is right in here and so when we leave we leave as the person that we've been here we don't leave separately you know we're not we don't all of a sudden become a soul or a spirit we, yes, we, it good. takes time yeah, for us to good. recognize oh wait a minute you know and so that is important because i don't think we recognize the depth of our of our being and how spiritual really we are i mean even talking about being consciousness is like oh yeah that's nice but it's much deeper and we <laughs> are nice <laughs> that's funny <laughs> yeah that's nice yeah well yeah. and i think what you're saying so i just want to make sure that i understand and viewers understand sure. is, yeah. is what you're saying is is this 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 body and and i'd like to refer to this body as a as a as a biochemical computer because that's what it is mm. so this biochemical computer it is our creation to have us experience ourselves whatever it is for whatever period of and i don't want to refer to time 
So what, whatever it is that we experiencing through our own experience here is what we are here to do. And then when we're done with this, we go do something else. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, right. So it's not like no. we ever, we ever like disappear no, that, uh, from right. existence. We always yeah. around because we are the one. Yes, that's right. And that's <laughs> a big one too, was the oneness. The yeah. oneness is a very, very important message that, that comes back to us from. Yeah, because everybody is kind of living separation out there. Yeah. Everybody wants to be separate and wants to be individual. Well, I think we see ourselves as separation. As a matter of fact, I think we deliberately are separate so that we can have, we have emotions and we have experiences that cannot happen at the spiritual level. And so I see our existence as giving to the oneness or the source. Mm -hmm. um, so so we, our purpose is to give. And that's how I see um, our, and so our life is to experience and give to the source of what we possibly, we couldn't possibly live. Which is in essence, which is in essence us. The source is mm -hmm. us that's experiencing right. yes, itself through ourselves. Through that's ourselves. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Did I say that right? Yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. I think I did. Yeah. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're, yeah. So that's exactly you people, right. When I say that to people, they just go, what the heck did you just say? Well, what do you mean by that? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> well, I, I, I meant, <laughs> what I meant is, and sometimes I, th this is where I go. Sometimes I go, okay, so, so if you really believe in this God thing, so uh -huh. what if I told you that you are God? Yes, yes. And that is what, what people come back understanding because when they get over there and they're in, well, whether they're in the light or not, they do get to the point where they recognize that it's all connected, that it's yes. all the same yes. and that there's a huge oneness. Yeah. And, and that people start getting that all the stuff that they've been experiencing, when they start getting that they really creating all of this, then, then uh -huh. the game, then the game gets very interesting yes. and, and yes. funny yes. and funny. Yes. Do you laugh a lot? Uh, Lynn, these days? I'm sorry? Do you laugh a lot these days, Lynn? Oh, I do, yes, yeah. yes, <laughs> a good deal, yes. Because I chuckle a lot, because yes. I'm finding this funnier and funnier Yes. as it's unfolding, because we are taking it so significantly and so seriously, yes. all this drama that we create, and it's like, yes. well, dude. But, but, but that, drama, <laughs> that drama is feeding back to our oneness. Mm -hmm. and, oh, and giving them experiences that they couldn't have it couldn't have yeah yeah it's uh, part of this it, duality it thing it's yeah. part of this duality thing that we have created so yes. so what yes. i'm what i'm working on right now lena and i don't know if you you involved yourself in this but i am going through some experiments and some experiences right now to expand um my consciousness in terms of uh, my mind. I am. I am creating a more closer and loving relationship with my mind, so that my mind understands that I am interested in seeing more. I am interested in, in hearing more. I am interested in going beyond what I have been able to um, experience through my five senses. I want my mind to take me where I have never gone before. Yes, and that's possible. That is possible yeah. to do that right here. Yes. Yeah, which is what the Star Trek movies were all about. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're probably right. <laughs> Um, and a lot of people um, who do deep meditation gets to that point as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, and I do that. And so I, I've been meditating a tremendous amount. And what's interesting is what opened up for me recently is um, because, because I've done so much meditation, all of a sudden, for the last like three weeks, I stopped meditating mm -hmm. because what I realized is that a lot of the stuff that I've been doing is very repetitious. Mm -hmm. So I noticed that and I said, so if it's very repetitious, then 
who's creating the repetition? Well, it's my mind mm -hmm. creating it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I am right now just in a partnership with my mind to show my mind that um, I'm trying to avoid as much repetition as possible right now. So I am pretty busy recreating everything. <laughs> <laughs> because believe it or not, I noticed that I have a certain shirt I wore on a Monday oh, and, a yeah. certain, and a certain shirt I, <laughs> I wore on a Tuesday and I went to a certain place to eat on a Wednesday and I went to a certain other place. Like I had everything kind of set up the uh -huh. way I was going to do everything and I'm going like, wait a minute, uh, there's something off about this. So let's mix it all up. So what I've been doing in the last three weeks, and that's why I haven't meditated because even that I've done in a certain way, mm -hmm. in a certain time, mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. So what I'm working on right now is just experiencing my experiences. Instead of, instead of repeating them, I'm forcing my mind, like I'm going to my office in a different way, a different route. I'm doing everything that I can differently right. right right and just to see what opens up yeah and that's uh, that's uh, i think what mindfulness is about as well is to be conscious and aware of each move that you do and uh and that brings you to a different level as well yeah so i'm just in the moment of experiencing whatever is going on like mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know i noticed like in the morning when i'm in the car in, i was avoiding the experience of driving and I was listening to some stuff on YouTube uh, in my car mm -hmm. because I didn't want to deal with whatever else I would have had to deal with if sure. I didn't have my attention on that. So mm -hmm. I stopped doing that. Okay. And now I'm just being more and more in the moment of what's up, what's right. going on. Right. 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 <laughs> and it's, it's quite interesting. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that something cool will come out of it. And nothing has yet. Nothing has yet. I've been just in the practice of this for the last three okay. weeks. Okay. And I'm doing it in every area of my life. Wow. Possible. That's, that's, that's hard. Yeah. That is hard. <laughs> you know, to suddenly make that big, bigger change. I am mixing it all up. Yeah. As much yeah. as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good for you. Yeah. So we'll see what I happens. All the best with that. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> and, and so, so what I'm hoping for is that my, mind will get the message because I'm paying a lot of attention to computers and how computers work yeah. and and how network works uh, and I have a technology background and I'm noticing that the way we operate as this biological human being is very similar to computers yes. and computer systems yes. and and I noticed also I don't know if you you know this but um, um, when you go to somebody's website um you the website is actually showing you on in your web browser what you saw last time it remembers mm -hmm. when you went to that website what it saw right. so it it that's doesn't right. redraw every item on there right and that's how our brain works and this is where i came to this experience of changing everything in my life because I noticed that my brain is redrawing all my right. experiences. Yeah. So yeah. what if, because my brain remembers everything, yeah. so what if I'm not even here doing what I'm doing because it knows what I'm supposed to be doing? Do you get that? <laughs> <laughs> I followed you right up to that last question. I, I did that last question. So, so what if my mind is playing a trick on me meaning it knows what I'm supposed to do when I get up. It knows what I'm supposed to do when I go to work. It knows what I'm supposed to do when I'm at work. And, and what if these experiences that I'm having every day are, 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 are not new experiences? What if they are just the same way the, how the browsers work? It's just being redrawn. Uh, well, that, I, I actually... Computers don't have free will. Computers can't change They're just on their own. They can change if somebody programs them. Really? So how do you explain artificial in intelligence? But how do I explain what? Artificial it's intelligence. Well, I don't think artificial intelligence is a life form. Mm. 
interesting. I think that there are many, many life forms starting from amoebas, uh, you yeah. know, and even the universe. But the universe is just a hologram. Yes. And our, and our brain operates like a hologram. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But we can create artificial, we have created artificial, artificial intelligence and and it, it can come to a place here very soon <clears throat> where you can even duplicate a human being exactly just the way we are. But we can create a building, but the building isn't alive. If the building can't, can't you know, just because something like a computer can interact. Yeah, but Lynn, we're, we already established that we're not alive either. This is just a hologram. Well, yes, but this we is just an experience. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, we're creating everything. Yeah, all right. I got what you're saying. Okay, well, I guess that's a struggle. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, it's not a struggle. It, it is so simple that that most of us overlook it. It is, it is so simple. Well, the, simplic the simplicity of it is, is that everything that we're experiencing, we're creating. Right. We're, we're the programmer right. and we are yes. the program. That's right. That's true. <laughs> and can you say that of a, of a computer? That it is and that's the, that's what a computer is. It's a program, and it pro it can program itself. I see. Okay. I don't buy the the I don't buy that we're uh, computers. Are you don't buy that? Computer. No. Really? No. Wow. No. I think I think we we are spiritual beings, and uh, well, I and, I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you there, but in this form, this form, the this person that's talking to you is mm -hmm. is a is a biological computer. No, you're not. You're you're an illusion. That consciousness okay. is an illusion that consciousness is creating every second of every. That time. that is accurate. That is accurate. I, I stand corrected. <laughs> but but in terms of in terms of the game, yeah. So yes, you you're right. So this is. It appears as a biological computer. Uh -huh. right. Yes, right. that's yeah. more accurately to yeah. say. It appears like a biological computer, but yeah. that's yeah. just an appearance. That's just an illusion. Right. Yes, yes, right. you are right. absolutely correct. Yeah. See, I don't, no, I don't, I don't, mean, I don't mind to be corrected. Sometimes I get confused myself. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> but that's because it's so simple. It's so simple, and sometimes I forget how simple it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is, you know, and I think that's one of the things that Einstein said, is that the simpler something is, the more real it is. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, so you're absolutely delightful. Um, our uh, conscious half hour is actually has gone bye bye. So I'd like to I give you, the, this has been fascinating, uh, right. to confirm right. some of the things that I'm experiencing. It's absolutely fantastic. And uh, uh, I wanted to give you the opportunity to talk about how people can interact with you, uh, purchase your book, uh, how to go to your website, and anything else that you would like to okay. share that may be coming up for you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, um, to contact me, I'm on a number of uh, different uh, social medias. So if somebody just puts in my name, Lynn Kathleen Russell, they'll get my website. And I am all over the the, the um, Google, so they can they'll find me. Um, and my book is on Amazon. It's uh, a Kindle, and it's with Barnes and Noble in the United States. It's with uh, Smith and Sons or Smith. Smith and Smith, something like in in England. Uh, it's in it's in our, well, it's in Europe, and it's also um, uh, in chapters on in Canada, online chapters in Canada. Awesome. And your website? My website is lynnkathleenrussell.com. Awesome. And then, do you have any uh, 
any uh, seminars or any activities that are coming up that you would like to share? I, I'm taking the summer off, so it's I'm doing awesome. my art and and yeah. writing my next book and just enjoying life. Fantastic! And, uh, I'm hoping to have some uh, uh, workshops on the at Vancouver Island uh, in September, and I'm All working right. towards that. All right, awesome. Okay, Lynn, so thank you very much for being on the network. I really enjoyed being with you for this uh, for this half hour. Thank it's been you. It's been a fascinating subject matter, and uh, uh, you are something else. So. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And you it's and been I, a wonderful time to chat. You and I must have a, you know, we have these conversations with a lot of other people, I'm sure. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. So for everybody else out there, if you, uh, were drawn to or connected to what you were hearing here or experiencing here. Uh, you were touched, moved, and inspired by anything that uh, Lynn uh, shared with us this, this evening. Uh, please go to her website, come to consciousevolutionmedia.com. Definitely go to YouTube. The more you watch this show and any of our other shows, the more they get to the top 10 list every month. And then when they get there, uh, they get to have an opportunity to go to uh, public television as well as cable television. And who knows where else we're going to go. Um, so that's it for this evening. Uh, I love you all. Thank you. And we'll be back on the network tomorrow. Same place, same time at 7 p.m. Mountain time. Thank you, Lynn. Have You're a good welcome. one. Thank you. Yep. you good too. night.